Retail AI just came out with their new Go High Level integration completely in Go High Level. You're not going to have to use make.com anymore. You're able to use only Go High Level. Now, there is some drawbacks using it only in Go High Level, such as you're not able to connect your calendar. But the upside is you're able to trigger calls, you're able to get the concurrency limit, and much more. The only drawback is you're not able to directly connect your calendar yet with this integration. But in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to directly use GoEye Level with retail. So let's get into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go over here to App Marketplace. Once you're in App Marketplace, come over here and look up retail. And then once you find retail over here, you're going to click on it. And then you're going to want to choose what sub account to put it in. And we are going to put it into my agency sub account, Simparna. And then you, you just look at all of this and then click allow over here. And then the next thing that is going to happen is it's going to bring up this box and it's going to ask for your retail API key. This is how you find it. The first thing that we're going to do is log into retail. Once you're logged into retail, come over here to API keys. Once you're here, take this API key, come back over here and then paste it. Then click continue. And then it redirects you to your account. And then over here in app marketplace, you're able to read through all the features. It's able to create a phone call, get concurrency, get voice, get phone number, customize a AI voice, CRM integration directly within Go High Level, real-time analytics, multilingual support, scalability and reliability, getting started to start using the retail AI voice bot app after installation, authenticate retail, and put your retail API key, and then do all of that. And then basically what it's able to do through custom actions, it's able to create a phone call, get a phone call, get voice, get concurrency and get the call. In my experience, it's not really able to do that full calendar integration like a software like Simflow has. But I know they are coming out with that full calendar integration like Simflow. Next thing that we're going to do is come over here and log into my agency account. Once you log into the account you added it to, you're going to come over here to automations and then create a new automation. Label the automation, whatever you want to label it. I'm going to label it retail and automation one. Next, you're going to click save and come over here to opportunities. And then once you're in opportunities, you're going to want to create a pipeline similar to this. Basically, whenever a lead comes in, they get put, placed into call and right when they get placed into call, they're going to get called and then they're going to be moved to call in progress. After a minute, they're going to get pulled back to call fast. Now, this whole pipeline was created for a custom integration with Replit and all of the, that custom code. It's not going to be able to do the exact same replication that it does for my entire agency. Because when I implement this for clients, we don't use Go High Level because it costs one cent per trigger. And if you're placing 100,000 calls, that's just not cost efficient at all. So with my agency, we try saving clients as much money as possible. They just pay us a monthly fee and they pay nothing else except the call cost. That's how we're able to keep all the costs down because we try making everything as efficient as possible. Unlike some other agencies that are ran by beginners and try doing everything through a shortcut, which is easier to build, but more expensive to run. So yeah, you're going to want to create a pipeline similar to this. And then you're going to come back over here to automation and then come over here and then click on the automation we started building. We are going to pipeline stage changed to in pipeline, a guy pipeline, boom. Pipeline stage call and then boom. And then we click save. So now whenever a lead is added to that pipeline, it's going to trigger. The next thing that we're able to do is scroll all the way down. And then here is all of retail's integration. So we are going to create a call and it's going to happen from this number to number. So we are going to come over here, get user phone number, and then click save. Make sure that your phone numbers have a country code too, because if it doesn't have a country code like plus one or plus 
401. It is not going to call that lead and it's just going to show it as an error. Over here, trigger, boom, and then create phone call. And then boom, now we have a phone call. And then move lead, update, lead over here. And then in AI pipeline, scroll all the way to the bottom, column in progress, boom. And then wait three minutes because these calls don't last too long. They're just qualifying calls. Scroll all the way back down over here get call and then we're going to retrieve the call id once we get that call we're able to see what happened with it if the lead was interested we are able to update the pipeline and then come over here in pipeline say that they got booked for example but because again there's no calendar integration you're going to have to do that all through custom code I will be showing that in a later video. I'm building a simpler code for beginners, so it's not going to be too difficult. The code I have running now is very difficult to understand. So that's still in development. Right now, you're able to have just interested for booked instead of booked. If you're familiar with code, look at the API docs and you'll be able to do something like this. Um, you're able to change this to interested and that will just move them over here. And you're able to have the lead um, keep on getting called. Um, so create a call. This is going to be the second call that's going to happen. And they're able to have as many calls as you want directly through Go High Level. Now, creating post calls is the easiest part. Doing this for one cent to trigger through Go High Level is not cost efficient at all if you really think about it. But what you're paying for is the user-friendly interface. But yeah, that's basically how you're able to create a call and how you're able to get a call. And then you're also able to uh, get the concurrency, uh, basically how many leads have been called. Um, you put your API key over here and then it gets the concurrency. And we're able to place another call. So if concurrency is not 20, we're able to place another call, something like that. And we're also able to put a drip mode into here so that only 18 leads get called every 20 minutes, for example. So basically, if you want to import 10,000 leads, you're not going to hit that concurrency limit and not get screwed over. And with that drip mode, it's going to make sure that you're never hitting that concurrency limit. So yeah, that's basically how you connect retail to go high level. By installing the app and then by doing all of this automation stuff, it sucks that they don't have a native integration with Go High Level calendars yet. That's going to take a while for them to build, but once that's out, it's going to make everything easier. But again, it's not going to be cost efficient because everything costs a cent to connect. A cent here, a cent there, it starts getting expensive. So yeah, that's basically how you create the connection. And if you want to implement this into your business, for example, if you're a realtor, for example, I just created probably one of the best AI pipelines for realtors out there and probably the best script. Feel free to book a call at Zampana.com. And the nice thing about having an AI dialer in your business is if you're running Facebook ads or any type of ads in general, if a lead fills out a form, you're instantly able to call them, which will set you apart from the rest of your competition. There are certain laws that you have to follow with AI dialers, but if you follow those laws, it is a big reward. And if you want to be caught up on the most recent AI news, feel free to join my email list or my Telegram channel.